So how about this risky click of the day? I decided to do a software update on my car while I was packing for a long trip. So we'll see how this goes, but I was really excited to get the new update to navigate on autopilot. So I'll put the cameras on the roof and have one on the screen here and we'll see how it goes. So you can see in the release notes, navigate on autopilot beta. We now have the option to turn on navigate on autopilot at the start of every trip. And we can not make it ask for lane change confirmation. So we'll get to that over here in driving. Nope, how about autopilot? So customize navigate on autopilot. We'll enable at the start and do not require. And we get a double confirmation here. I'm sure I need to remain in control. And for lane change and notification, I'll do both. That's supposed to give you a chime and vibrate the steering wheel. So let's do it. So overall, I'd say that's pretty good. It's doing a lot better job of letting other cars into the lane, like on an entrance ramp. It doesn't slow down so aggressively when they're coming in, and it doesn't try to get in the center of the lane as much as it used to. It's at least not as aggressively doing it. So a lot better there. It's changing lanes pretty well on its own. We did have that one instance where I wasn't really sure it was going to be able to make it over and I kind of held the steering wheel a little bit too hard and I kicked it out of autopilot, but it actually was going to do okay in that one. Uh, a couple complaints, it's still not looking as far ahead as I think it should. I can definitely see brake lights ahead and I would be slowing down and it's still going along and then it kind of has to brake pretty hard. And it's also, it will change lanes sometimes and then just seconds later, oh, I need to change lanes back. But that could be due to the Mad Max mode. I'm gonna set that to mild now. And it wasn't a big deal before. It would just request to change lanes and I'd say, oh, that's dumb, I'm just not gonna do it. But now that it's doing it on its own, I'll put it down on mild and we'll, we'll see if it does a little better there. But otherwise, uh, this is 19.8.5. So look forward to getting that. And pretty cool update. I'm really surprised that everybody who has enhanced autopilot's getting it and it's not full self-driving only. 
but that's cool. We all get to enjoy. So thanks Tesla and thanks for watching.